Hello everyone. I am going to show you the demo of submitting the SPL file through the cosmetic product listing form. The form is all set to fill the data and validate. So to begin, simply fill out all the required details so, and if there are any issues, the system will display the respective validation errors which we can then address. So I am selecting the document type as initial since I am going to submit the new SPL form and if you want to make the changes to the existing SPL then you can select the changes to listing up option. So let me demonstrate by filling out all the required details right here. So I have added the responsible person name, contact number, the DUNS number. Now let's add the product category code by clicking on this add button. Select the product category code. You can also enter the multiple category codes. So and if you have any images to attach, you can choose the file from here. Now let's next add the product names. So I'm going to add eyeshadow and uh, check mark this if the product contain the fragrance or the flavor and uh, whether the product is used professionally or not. Let me enter one more product. Next is uh, enter the list of facilities where the cosmetic is manufactured. Click on this add button. If you want, you can enter the FEI number. And if you have the facility address, so you can uncheck the FEI and you'll be able to enter the facility name and address. So I have added uh, the facility name and address over here. It will be reflecting over here. Now next enter um, the list of uh, ingredients in the cosmetic products. So when you click here, you'll be able to get the auto completer by simply in writing initial letter. So the unique uh, ingredient identifier will get populated automatically. Next, uh, enter one more chemical name. Here is the unique ingredient identifier and the product numbers. Next, move on and uh, agree to the confirmation statement. Enter the signature of the submitter name of the submitter and you can also enter the additional contact information so once you are uh, done with filling all the required details click on the next arrow button to proceed so you'll be taken to the screen where uh, you can review your data in the style sheet format. So you will see that all the field data reflects accurately. You need to verify everything. And once you're done with verifying the data, check mark this and continue with the next step. Now uh, clicking on the next, you will be taken to a screen where you can validate your submission. And if there are any errors, the list of validation errors will be displayed on the form where you'll be redirected. You can correct these errors and then return here to validate again. So now let me uh, validate my file. Since I have no validation errors, so the so SPL file has been successfully validated. Um, I can uh, download this uh, validated SPL file from here. Simply click on this download button it will get downloaded easily so now click on the next arrow button so from this screen you can submit to ESG directly if you are uh, already registered with the pragmatic ESG uh, since I have not registered uh, to the pragmatic ESG so when I click on this yes button it will throw an error and uh, it will say that uh, I have not been registered to the pragmatic data regulatory submission. So I have to register first. So if I click on this link, it will redirect to the pragmatic uh, ESG registration form. You need to fill all these details and register to the pragmatic ESG. Once you are done with this, you can again submit the validated file which you have already saved 
and submit to the pragmatic ERG easily. So hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. Thank you.